Good morning, children. How are you all today? Hope you are doing well. Let's start our UW lesson. Are you all ready, children? Hmm, let's see what's our objective for today. Our objective for today is learners will revise about rotation and revolution of the earth. Learning outcomes are by the end of the lesson, learners will revise how day and night occur, how seasons changes. Let's start. You have seen the sunset, right? If you get up early enough, maybe you have seen it rise too. Hmm, but have you ever wondered, children? Why the sun rises every day and sets every night? Where does it go when we cannot see it? Well, it is actually us who move around when the earth rotates. When our side of the earth is not facing the sun, we see night. So, this movement of the earth is called rotation. Rotation of the earth is what gives us day and night. When we are on the side of the earth that is leaning away from the sun, as the earth is spinning, it is night. And when we are on the side facing the sun, it is day. Look at this picture. The earth side which is facing the sun, it's day. Look at the back side, it's dark. That means it is night. Do you know how long it takes for the earth to complete one rotation, children? Do you remember it? Yes. It takes 24 hours for the earth to complete one rotation around its own axis. It means one day. 24 hours means one day. Hmm. Do you remember that the earth is not only rotating but also going around the sun children? Do you remember what do we call it? Let's explore. Earth goes round and round around the sun. It is called revolution and the earth takes 365 days or one year to complete one revolution. Yes, in one year there are 365 days. Earth is both rotating and revolving. The earth is not straight. As you know, right, it is tilted just a little. Do you remember, children, how many seasons are there? Can you tell me? Yes, you're right. We have four seasons. They are autumn, winter, spring and summer. Look at these. What are these, children? Yes, these are four seasons. How do you think seasons change? The winter season comes in December, January and February. When you are on the part that is leaning away from the sun, it is cold there and days are short. This season is called winter. This is spring season. Spring season comes in March, April and May. We can see lots of butterflies, bees and flowers in this season. Summer comes in June, July and August. This is the season when we get holidays. The part of the earth that faces the sun is warm and days are long. This season is called summer. Let's talk about the season autumn. We get autumn in September, October and November. 
In this season, the leaves of the trees fall and also it's very dry season and windy. Okay children, let us see what is the difference between rotation and revolution. First, we will talk about rotation. In rotation, the earth spins and turns in its own axis. It takes 24 hours or we can say one day for earth to do one rotation. It causes day and night. Let's talk about revolution. In revolution, the earth goes around the sun. Like in this picture, it takes 365 days or one year for the earth to do one revolution. It causes seasons like summer, spring, autumn and winter. It's activity time. Let's see what do we have in our activity today. Are we all ready children? Let's see what we have to do. To do this activity, we have to take a paper and divide it into two parts. Write and draw about rotation and revolution, which you learned in today's lesson. Discuss with your parents about Earth. Look at this. This is the picture for reference. Thank you, children. Bye-bye. Stay safe.